Okay, so we have this tire, it's going there and it's right up against that bump like that. And so, not drawn to scale here, um, if I can determine this theta, then I can get this arc length right here because I know that my arc length um, is uh, r times theta. So s is usually arc length on things. And for a circle, assuming the tire is pretty much a circle, um, that's just r theta. Um, and when you think about it, uh, right, you, you get if theta is around the whole circle, that's 2 pi, and that's your, your formula, 2 pi r, for the circumference of a circle. So if you can get theta, and since we know the radius of this tire wheel mechanism, uh, we can get that arc length. And then if I know I'm going 70 miles per hour, I know about how long it takes to travel that arc length. Uh, because, right, it's here, and then I roll on it until I get to there, you know. So it's, it's that rotational speed there, angular velocity that's happening. Um, and, uh, uh, but if I know I'm going at, at 70 miles per hour, uh, I can... You know, again, I can get that arc length, and and so once I know the time, well, then distance equals rate times time, or sorry, once I know that distance, distance equals rate times time, and, and I can get the time it takes to, uh, to get up there. Um, the way I kind of went about it was um, realizing that this is um, an isosceles triangle when I cut across there. Um, I did that and actually found theta over 2 uh, based on, you know, this stuff. So, um, right, because I, I know uh, that length and um, I can also come up with, um, you know, uh, the altitude here or uh, this other from various formulas of circles and that kind of thing. But uh, um, at any rate, uh, that's the way I went about it. Um, hopefully that helps.